morning, I'm Anne Marie LaFlame, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A man is in critical condition after being stabbed at a Coney Island in southwest Detroit. Police were called to Columbo's Coney Island on Verner near Junction around 530 this morning. Now we're told the man was stabbed by someone he knew during some sort of argument. So far, police do not have anyone in custody. Right now, a man is in the hospital after two duplexes caught fire in Wayne. His family says he suffered third degree burns. Now crews were called to Vinoy and Glenwood around 430 this morning. A woman tells us that she woke up to what sounded like gunshots. Fire officials say everyone was able to make it out OK. Michigan State University is stopping payments to the survivors of Larry Nasser's abuse. The school says it's over fraudulent claims of sexual assault. MSU says it's suing insurance carriers to get the companies to honor their policies. Lawyers say more than 300 survivors are being paid $425 million and $75 million is being set aside for future claims of assault by Nasser. Kevin. All right, Emory, thank you. This afternoon it's going to be in the upper 70s and a few passing showers, possibly a thunderstorm until about 7 or 8 o'clock this evening and then we'll have decreasing clouds. So partly sunny, high temperatures in the upper 70s today. Tonight, mostly clear skies, 59 for the overnight low. Could be a stray shower tomorrow for Saturday, otherwise partly sunny. Most of us are going to be dry for Saturday. Highs will be around 80 degrees and then Sunday, partly sunny. Highs again near 80. Get a chance of rain then Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Anne Marie? Kevin, thank you. Two major stretches of highway are set to shut down tonight. The first is eastbound 696 in Oakland County. The stretch from Telegraph to 75 will be shut down at 8 p.m tonight until 5 a.m. on Monday. Also, I-94 shutting down in both directions between Connor and 75. The closure is set to begin at 7 p.m. and reopen Monday morning at 5 a.m. And those are your headlines from 7 Action News. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame. Don't forget the news is on our website, WXYZ.com and on the 7 Action News mobile app. Have a great day.